I'm Dana Gerald, and I'm here to talk about actor demo reels today. Uh, this is an important topic, and we're going to learn today how to really create a great demo reel if you're an actor. And, and, and you know, we all know this is very important because if you have an effective reel, it's a major step on the staircase to success. It can really uh, get your career moving and help you with booking more more work. I've got my notes right here so I don't forget anything. And, uh, you know, I've really been working as a professional in this industry for nearly two decades. And uh, it's been a long time. You learn a lot during that, that, that amount of time. But anyway, enough about me and how old I'm getting. Let's talk about the do's and don'ts of uh, actor demo reels. Number one is less is less, so leave them wanting more. Uh, this basically means that your re demo reel needs to be two minutes or less. And that's pretty, a pretty tight amount of time. If you go over a few seconds, that's okay. But really, two minutes is where you want to stick, stick with. If you keep your reel to two minutes or less, then it gives you a structural framework from which to build everything else upon. It gives you uh, something that you can base all of your, your choices on. If you're fortunate enough to have a lot of things to choose from, then that's great. This rule ensures that only the best of your work will make the cut. And that's good because it gives directors and producers a, a little bit of sense of competition. You know, if the better your reel is, then the better their work has to be to hire you, right? I mean, everybody wants to associate themselves with the best in their arena, no matter what it is that they do. Rule number two is this, trim the fat and save the meat. Okay, this is how you implement rule number one. And the first thing you need to do if you're an actor is to go through all of your footage, first get it, and then go through all of it on your own before you consult with your editor. And I consider that a very important part of the process too, consulting with your editor. Don't just dump all of this footage onto your editor and expect them to come up with something amazing. You want to look for two things. You want to look for close-ups. Okay. And then you want to look for what I call magnetic moments, okay? Those aren't necessarily close-ups, but they're things that really stand out. And the best thing I can do for you is show you an example here uh, from a reel that I edited by a, a great actress named Yolanda Wood. Liddy who? Oh no, she just ran out of here like her hair was on fire. Oh no, 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 it just means great panic. In the D zone is where the aurora was lost. Empress Luxor and her mirror men, I bet. I am sick of these games! Let's see how you like the taste of V-Fleet Blaster, you mirror moron! The granite countertops and custom cabinet. What? What do you mean the house is already sold? Todd, I'm on the air! No, I have to do your job too, right? No, I told you! Girl, would you please get that out of my face? House is already sold. You like radio, Todd? Because you're going back. Hello, I'm Christine Meckler and welcome to Rise and Shine. Today, I'm very pleased to have high school freshman and best-selling author, Jamie Bartlett. Is Saves the World is the fastest selling children's book in Schilling Press history. This was supposed to be the best day of my life. Okay, that's all we have time for today. We thank you for joining us, Miss Bartlett. Up next, seven things in your toilet bowl that could kill you, right after this. <laughs> this house is already sold too? Here comes the freak out. What did you say? Don't you ever in your life talk to me like that. Are you crazy? Come here, Lunchbox. Let's talk. I love having a reel. It makes it so much easier. I probably... I'm booking more without auditioning. Definitely having one. As a matter of fact, we were looking through some of my um, stuff from the last year, and I, I kind of mark what, when I have to audition, when I don't. And about 85% I have had to, of my work that I get, I have an audition for. It's cause, just because of a reel. Very nice. Now you'll notice how this reel just jumps back and forth between between moments and projects, and we use that to really show Yolanda's range as an actress. This is your reel. You know, you don't have to prove that Johnny Depp's a great actor by showing cutaways to him in your scene with him. And this requires more work from your editor. But uh, it's really worth it if you can find an editor who can make this work for you. Because if it does, then it will. I know my favorite story is getting booked on Jones Broncos. That was my favorite. Cause 
I get this call one day, and my agent said, you know, you booked this movie, and we didn't want to get somebody on this movie. And I said, I had never even heard of the movie. Um, she's like, oh, it's with Jared Hess. You know, we did Napoleon Dynamite. And so I was all excited. And I thought, that's great. And you're going to be sitting next to Jeremy Clemens from Flight of the Concord. So I was <laughs> even more ecstatic. And I get there, and I said, you know, I didn't audition for this. How did you guys find me? And the producer said, you know, you know we went on TNG's website, and we were looking for someone else. And we kind of fell on your name. We clicked, you had a demo reel, and we got to see your work and thought you would fit more perfectly than the person we even went to go look for. Huh? So that's how I booked the job, was with my reel, which of course in turn paid for the entire thing by doing that one doc, that one job, one day. It was great. So what I've done to this point is really point you in the right direction. Well, I, I've been acting for almost nine years. I got my reel done. I had like the busiest year ever. So for nine years, it didn't even equal up to the amount of money I made in that one year after I got my reel done. Uh, it's important to know a bad reel, a bad actor's reel, can actually do more damage to your career than not having a reel at all. Oh no!